In this video, we're going to make some fall decor. Some pumpkins and some real pretty little lanterns. Y'all come along. I picked these little pumpkins up at Dollar Tree. Having a little bit of difficulty getting the top out of it. And I'm just going to take the covering off. Because I'm going to end up doing an old time thing we did years ago. It's called Plaster Paris. I thrifted these uh, music sheets. I was so excited when I found them. I knew I could use them for all kinds of different crafts. And this is going to be the first one. We're going to try this. We're just going to take the sheets and tear it into little, small, little strips. Just about long enough for the uh, go around the pumpkin. I got a little bit of water in the bowl, and then I'm gonna put some Mod Podge down in it and mix it around. Kind of like a thinned up glue. Get it all over the little pieces. What I was thinking here by trying to glue it on there without doing this. I guess I forgot how to do it. <laughs> Don't do as I do. Do as I show. Here we go. Take the excess off of it. And we're going to put this all around the pumpkin. Doesn't look like much now, but when we get done, it turned out so good. I just kind of push it down there on the pumpkin. And then we'll speed this up a little bit. These are really gold and shiny, and I kind of want to doll them up. So I've got this Waverly Antiquing, and I'm just going to paint it on there and kind of doll it down so it's not so shiny. I took some of that same color and added it to some water, really thinned it up. Um, I wanted to try to make the creases of the pumpkins a little bit darker, so that was my plan here. Probably don't do as I do and go back and forth between the water and your paint. It's probably not good for you. Kind of had that off camera. Get a little better job here to let you see what I did. I just kind of put that color down in water and put it in the creases real lightly just to give it a little bit of color.
here we're going to use some raffia and we're just going to make a little simple bow that I'm planning on putting on these little pumpkins. Sorry if I get off camera here. Hopefully I'll do a better job so y'all can see what I'm doing here. I'm just wrapping around my fingers and then I put it through between my fingers. Back around and then up underneath. And then let this cause it to do a knot right there. Well I'm done.
We got this at Dollar Tree. And I got this also. And I put a hole in the middle of it. And I'm going to glue it down inside of here. perfect little fit in there. I picked up just all different kinds. I actually got some of these at um, Dollar General. And some of them I picked up at Dollar Tree. And we are just going to sit here and make uh, just a little decoration. I got these at Amazon and I'll leave that down, link down below. That's what I made the hole for. And I'm thinking I can put it, it's almost perfect. I'll put that in in the end, see what happens. So in making a second one, I'm going to glue this on first, and then I glued this in. Because it's kind of hard to get to if you get all the flowers on there. Be the only tip. So, I actually have been taking some of these because they're too long. See how long they are? And I've been cutting them in half. And then I'm going to trim up maybe three leaves. guys see something in the picture that you haven't seen before please follow my next video and I'll show you how to do it they turned out so cute they just look so good together here with my fall decor welcome back soon